there's a secret power biding its time deep beneath the streets of Baldur's Gate, exerting its influence on the realms. Ed Greenwood, writer and creator of the Forgotten Realms. Baldur's Gate exists in the Forgotten Realms Dungeons and Dragons, a fantasy setting on the major continent of Faron, within the planet of Toril. The word Faron is a modified version of Fairy, the name of the homeland of the ancient elves. Baldur's Gate has a rich history with its fortunes differing greatly throughout it. The following is a brief overview of the city's history. Baldur's Gate, often referred to as simply the Gate, was the largest city-state located on the Sword Coast. The Gate lies within the greater western heartlands and is a beacon of civilization between Waterdeep and the Kingdom of Alm. Its strategic position on the river Chayantha makes it a vital trading post where everything from adventure to morality is for sale. Baldur's Gate is a viper's nest of schemes and schemers, quoted by Quran. Long before it was settled, the land that would become Baldur's Gate was known as Locke's Fist, home to a hill giant named Locke. It was after the death of the giant when the first fishing settlement known as the village of Lockley came into being. As time passed, the harbor settlement became a secluded meeting place for pirates, scavengers, and ghost lighters. Ghost lighting being a method of using lights in order to trick ships sailing along the foggy coast to run aground so that their goods could be pillaged. Once these ships were looted, the looters were then free to sail up the Chiantha to a secluded haven named Grey Harbor. This haven and the village of Lockley with a shipyard and visitor wharves became known as a port of call for ships from across the Sword Coast by the year of the Avarice, 204 DR. In the city's early days, a seafaring hero named Baldurian gathered vast wealth on a voyage far beyond the Isle of Avermet to the distant continent of Ancorom. Baldurian hid his riches away in secret caches and ordered a great granite wall to be built for the protection of his home. Not long after, Baldurian embarked on a second voyage to the continent, only to vanish and never return. Following Baldurian's disappearance, local farmers took over the wall's construction and focused it to protect their farms and holds, rather than the harbor. With the addition of the walled fortifications, Many nearby townsfolk and the outsiders flocked to the hamlet, causing it to swell in size. Many new buildings were constructed between the wall and southern harbour, the area becoming known as Heapside, whereas the walled area near Grey Harbour was known as Old Town. Some scholars believe that the year of the late sun, 300 DR, the city was widely known as Baldur's Gate. However, most believe it wasn't until the year of unblinking eye, 446 DR, that the city received its now iconic name. The city's division by the wall between its original inhabitants and newcomers created tensions which eventually led to a tax revolt. Fortunately, this rebellion was pacified by the four most senior sea captains before considerable damage was done to the city. In the years and centuries that followed, trade flourished and the city expanded as the nation of Om was formed. Despite remaining neutral, Baldur's Gate soon became the most powerful force in the western heartlands. The 14th century saw the arrival of the Flaming Fists, a mercenary company sworn to order and honor founded by the renowned fighter Eltan. The mercenaries' discipline and success repelling border incursions of monsters and trolls from the north provided Baldur's Gate with much needed safety and security. The group's renown leading Eltan ascending to the rank of Grand Duke. During the time of troubles, known as the Avatar Wars, Baron was beset by Baal, god of murder and patron of assassins. Baal was eventually defeated by Sarek in battle a couple of hundred miles northeast of Baldur's Gate. However, Baal's death caused his essence to split between several mortals. 
the so-called bowel spawn. A decade later, Saravak schemed to murder the other bowel spawn in order to claim bowel's power for himself. Saravak aligned himself with the criminal organization, the Iron Throne, and a group of doppelgangers in an attempt to topple the four Grand Dukes and seize power in the region, only to be thwarted by a rival Valspawn who killed Saravek, restoring peace to the region. By the year of the Ageless One, 1479 DR, Baldur's Gate was regarded as Faron's most powerful and influential city, once again providing stability and projecting its power in the region. While this has been a brief overview of Baldur's Gate's origins and history, there is far more mystery, intrigue, and legend to explore. If you enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comments and we can investigate Baldur's Gate rich lore in future videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a great day, everyone.